Hi everyone, thank you for stopping in. So let's talk Black Friday sale or lack thereof. So Black Friday, the only thing I was excited about getting was some good deals on yarn because I crochet and knit, but mostly crochet, sorry, noise out there. So first I went to Michael's and the sale was, I believe, buy two, get one free. That's not really a sale, especially if you're looking for really good yarn. You don't want to pay full price. Nobody wants to pay full price. I mean, seriously, three, it's been about three weeks. I went to Michael's and I got this for a dollar, this for a dollar, these for a dollar, this, <laughs> all of these, all of these were a dollar. These are the Burnett Softy Chunky yarn. This is the size, what is this? It's about a five or a six, right? So I got all of these for a dollar. So when it came to Black Friday, I was like, they're gonna have some good deals. They did not have any good deals at all. And I didn't even wanna buy anything. And so I didn't. So I went to Joanne's and Joanne had a better deal, but really not as good as I was hoping it would be. At Joanne's they had everything was 25% off and a few things were buy one get the other 50% off the 25% off all the items that were on sale for that 25% off was okay but I was expecting better I mean if you craft a lot we give so much money to the industry of yarn and knit and crochet it's like come on three days what Black Friday the day after that and then there's a Sunday and then Cyber Monday I wanted some good deals. I didn't get any, but I did buy a few things. I bought these at Joann's. This is the Lion Brand yarn, the Mandela watercolor. These little cakes are so cute. I got so many of these. I got this one. This is like a pink, like a fuchsia, magenta. And I got the one that fades from, it's like a lavender to a deeper purple, to a slight pink, to a beige. And I got the one that goes from like a beige to a mustard to a blue. And then I'm a sucker for neutrals. So I got it in this like beautiful brown, beige color. I got a lot of these ones. I got, okay, I got two of these purple ones and by the way these were five dollars with the 25% off so that's pretty good and these are 164 yards and these are the size five bulky I like my yarn bulky so I got two of the purple ones I got one of the mustard one and I got four <laughs> of these cakey beigey ones right I even started making something here how pretty is this look at this so I'm gonna be making a sweater it's gonna be like a crop top sweater with a kind of big sleeves and I wanted to taper down to rib knit it's gonna be my second time third time making a sweater so this is what I have so far I think this is just a half double crochet stitch yeah, something like that but so I started on that and I love it. I can't wait to finish this project. So that's this. And this is how much I've used so far on it. It's pretty. My stitches are getting better. As you can see, they're even. So I'm really proud of that. I actually want to blend this into this one. See how the colors are kind of similar? So halfway through this, I'm going to throw this one in there. Or maybe I'll use this as the hood for this one. So I'm gonna blend this in there somewhere. I just wanna give it like a little pop of color. Put that away. So another one that I got was this. Now this is loops, loops, loops and threads. Now, a week ago, I wasn't even thinking about Black Friday. I bought one of these. This is really big, right? This one is 262 yards and it is a size six. We get it. You have a loud motor. 
motorcycle. I'm sorry, you guys. I live in the city. <laughs> But this is a size six, it's super chunky, so if you are impatient like me and you like your work done quickly, you're gonna wanna get this. As a matter of fact, so from one ball of yarn, I got this. Now, I was gonna make a sweater, but then as I got closer, I realized I didn't have enough for sleeves, so that's why I went back the day after Black Friday and I found these. The day of Black Friday, these actually were not there. So, I got this one at Michael's actually. I went to join at Michael's on Black Friday and then on Saturday, I'm so loud, I'm so loud. On Saturday, I went to Michael's and they restocked these, so I got two. Like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. No, I'm just kidding. I hope that person's okay. I think there's another one coming. Hold on. I have to get used to this noise here. So anyway, I went back on Saturday, Saturday or Sunday. I think it was Sunday to Michael's. And they restocked these. So I got two. And this is from one. So like I said, this was going to be a sweater. But then I didn't have enough and I didn't see this, so I figured it would just be a really long cowl neck scarf, which is really cute as it, but like, it's really thick. It's really thick. I don't need that, but now that I have these two, I'm going to, I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. I'm just, that's the base of a sweater. I'm gonna look up a pattern and see how I can work this top portion up into a sweater or maybe I'll undo it down to about maybe I'll take off like this much make it into a crop sweater and then uh, build it up to the sleeves and I want a hood for it so I'll let you guys know how this one goes I think I'll finish this one this week so between all of these I think I'll have enough to finish whatever this is gonna be but look at the color it's so nice. Take a look at the stitching. Again, I'm really proud of my stitches. They're coming out so well. I've been practicing. I've just been crocheting so much. So I will finish this and I will get back to you about it. I also bought the same yarn in this brown color. It comes like this. Look how beautiful and rich this chocolate brown to beige is. I can't wait to see what this turns out to be like. I got two of these. So I'm thinking in a shawl or, I don't know, I'm kind of in a mood for making sweaters since I've been just crocheting so much. The lockdown is in effect and people are staying in more and more. And so I just find that making things just relaxes me so i've been doing that way more as you can see by the ridiculous amount of yarn sitting here on my bed <laughs> so i got those and then i happened to be over by joanne's again the other day i had no business going in there hold on so i happened to stop by is it joanne's no i happened to stop by michael's when that was on monday when I got this, and I saw this. These are the Karen Chunky Cakes. I just love this so much. Like this is not normally my style of yarn, but I'm just really into this big chunkiness and then like just the different bright colors kind of mismatch, mis mismatch, whatever, you know what I mean? different types of colors and that's the picture on the back of how it changes and again you know this is this is a size six so whatever I make with this won't take too too long I'm also thinking of doing a sweater with this probably more of a cardigan I want something open so I bought two two of them and these are how many 297 yards and I believe these were about six or seven dollars and it was buy one, get one half off. Now that's a good deal. 272 yards in here. 
And then, I bought one more of these. This is the one that I got for a dollar, three, almost four weeks ago, one dollar, one dollar. And this is, how many yards are in here? 108 yards in here. Now with this one, I bought one initially just because I liked the color and I bought it with the white. I had an intention to do a shawl or something like that. And so I was playing around with the idea of a, what do you call it? Like a sample stitch shawl. Ignore the stitching on this, it's not that good, but you can see. I started doing like a bobble stitch and then some kind of a front post stitch. I was basically watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos and practicing my stitches, but I plan on keeping the stitches in it so that when it's done, you know, it has all these different amazing textures in it. That was my goal. However, I don't like this. I don't, I mean, it looks okay on here. Tell me what you think. I don't know. I don't really, really like it. I think I would have to block it. I think I'm just going to undo it and do it again. Because that's all messed up there. This stitch is popping out down there, but it looks okay. So, this is, with doing all of these different types of stitching and the bobble stitch, it being only 108 something yards, this is all I have so far in. What's the rest of it? This is all that's left. So, I have this. So, I think I'm just, I don't know what to do with this. I really don't know. I only have these two. I do have, you know, a various different colors. So I have the gray, so I can do something with the gray, but I don't think it would look good going from this to gray. As you can see, I'm still practicing trying to make patterns with it. My goal is to sell patterns once I can figure out a nice sample stitch for this. but. Looks nice. Maybe I should also make a sweater. <laughs> Just a bunch of sweaters. But yeah, so this one is almost done. And I have this, but this is all I got so far. I would need about like five more balls of yarn for a complete project. So maybe I'll turn this into a floor mat for the bathroom. Not quite sure. Also, a few, well, it's been about two weeks. I stopped in at Michael's and they had this beautiful yarn. This is made out of 100% recycled polyester, I think it was, but it's just so soft and beautiful and kind of shiny. It has this like pearl, pearly shine, sheen to it. I made a little cow sweater out of it, well, sweater, scarf. I get compliments on it all the time. I think when people see it, they can tell it's crochet, but I really love this. It's so soft, but this is all I was able to get out of one ball of yarn. It's stretched a little bit. I don't block my project, I probably should, but I still like it, I wear it a lot. I think if I was to make it again, I would make it smaller so that when I wear it, it sits up a bit better. So, that's all I have for this haul. I'm going to finish this. Sorry finish this one and work on this and I will get back to you guys about this the rest of these and with how much I'm crocheting though honestly I'm probably gonna just start doing like reviews on yarn but <laughs> I can't wait to see what this one is gonna look like but I'm more excited about this one I need to figure out a plan for this so I'll probably just go back and watch a few more videos and see what I'm gonna do because I tried this on and it looks so bulky. It goes like just past my hips. As you can see, it's pretty long. So I think I'm just gonna crop it, make it into a crop sweater or something like that. I don't know, we'll see. That's all I have to show you guys. Thank you for stopping in. I have another video where I made one of those hand knitted blankets, like the giant, giant thick balls of yarn. If you wanna see that, I'll link it somewhere or you could just go in my videos and check it out. Just do that, because I don't feel like blinking. <laughs> anyway, thanks for stopping by, and uh, I will catch you guys later. Bye.